Hey, what's up, Visionaries? Welcome back to the Arc Vision Fam Jam. My name is Anton. Hopefully, all of you guys are having a fantastic day because today's Supporter Squad reaction request is for Meatloaf, and this is I'd Do Anything for Love, but I won't do that. And before we get into this one, I do want to say you guys rock. Thank you for all of the love. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, and at the same time, request songs, albums, and get exclusive access to uncut full album reactions, definitely join everyone in the supporter squad on Patreon for the price of a large pizza, and that is what funds the entire channel, everything we do. So if you want to be part of that and help keep us alive, definitely join the support squad, and I love you to my supporters and, and to all human beings on the planet, but... Definitely my supporters too. Thank you. And um, also, if you guys want to hang out with myself and the entire Arc Vision community, we're on Discord to so find us there. Link down below. It's for free. Um, also, links down below to my podcast and to official merch if you were interested. And that's it. So let's get into meatloaf. I'd do anything for love, but I won't die. Getting like a full movie. I love the aesthetic. It's like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Just the um, the theatricality and the drama of it is um, I'm really coming to appreciate this aspect of music much more than I used. To. I used to hate musicals and I used to hate anything over the top. And um, yeah, as I get older, I, I've really come to appreciate it and love it, and just love the artistic aspect, the otherworldly aspect it adds. And it just. I don't know, I find it, it kind of, in a sense, makes it, like, easier to end up in your heart because, you know, the heart, you know, doesn't speak, an, an, like, the analytical mind doesn't speak to the heart, you know, it's the right brain, it's the creative side of things. If anything, if you analyze something too much, it blocks, you actually don't feel it, you think, you think about feeling it more than you actually experience, like, you won't cry, you'll think about, like, oh, I feel like I'm about to cry, but you actually never get to that point because you block that. And I just find, like, it's interesting, like, watching this, it's just, like, I don't know, it's, it's otherworldly, it's very cool, and I just immensely respect that attention to detail and that other side of the human experience that I think we, uh, we discard a lot. But anyway, let's go back, like, 25 seconds. Anything for love, I'd run right into hell and back. I would do anything for love I'll never lie to you and that's a fact But I'll never forget the way you feel right now Oh no Beautiful no voice way. And I would do
of the set. Damn. 
I think that's the best power ballad I've ever heard in my life. My gosh, that that's an incredible song. And I I've been thinking lately, I was like, man, I, I'm getting really tired of power ballads. Like I know when I started this channel, I was like, I love power ballads, so like my favorite one of my favorite styles. But um I, I think list like obviously doing a reaction channel, like you 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 start to see the um the illusions. You start to see that like almost every power ballad sounds the exact same. And how it's like, it's almost like these bands don't seem like they write them or they write them just to copy what's popular. And, you know, a lot of the, the lyrics are just about being in love and, and which is dope. Um, but there's like, I don't know, I just don't get as much substance from them. Where this one was like actually... Like it felt like this was like a real song like sometimes i feel like power battles aren't like real songs they feel like copies of an idea they feel like plagiarism in a sense where this like this is what a power power ballad to me is like supposed to be it's supposed to be highly emotional like i i felt the heartbeat of this song i felt the emotions i felt you know the video was just incredible it pulled you in and i love the aesthetic and everything and but yeah, this felt real to me in a way that like a lot of the time, like my eyes kind of gloss over other stuff like this felt like actually like, you know, dramatic and intense. And because yeah, power ballads are like extremely dramatic. And sometimes I feel like really fake. And obviously this is a song about some, you know, demon dude who, you know, so this is like as fake as it gets, but there's almost like when I listen to the song, there's like more humanity in it. There feels like there's actually... A human being writing the song on the other side not just writing like i love you and i'll always love you and i'm gonna be in love with you for you know what i mean like it's like i almost i know the lyrics to every power ballad which on paper you read this and it's no different in some sense i did find when i when i read the lyrics of the song beforehand there was a bit more poetry there this song was more poetic um it was more a bit more real and intense but even just like seeing lead vocalist embody the song just added so much dimension to it and um i don't know if this is the truth but um i felt like one of the symbolism of um him turning into a real person was that um again this is just my projection of it this is how i i feel that it sparked the idea in me that um like i i've i've kind of been friends with people before um, like there was one girl, um, I remember kind of, I worked with her, right? And we worked together for a year. And, um, at first, like everyone, a lot of other people found her really attractive and I, like she is attractive girl, but I, I didn't feel anything towards her. Like I just didn't feel attracted to her. And I was like, oh yeah, she's pretty, but like, you know, just didn't feel anything. But over the course of like a year, like I, you know, I, I realized one day I was like, oh man, I feel like I'm in love with this person. Cause we just developed a really strong friendship and connection. And, you know, we'd joke around all the time and we'd hang out and all this kind of stuff. And like, cause at first it was, it wasn't anything romantic, sexual or intimate. It was just friends. And then like, I just like, I just felt like, wow, like I'm complete. I didn't even realize when it switched, but I was like, I'm completely in love with this person. And, and like in that moment, like, you know, she, she was obviously not ghoulish, but it's kind of like this. It's like, you know, this is obviously a dramatized version of that idea, but it's like, yeah, at first it's like, you just see the, but then like you see the, you see them for what they look like, you know, just, you just see them. But then it's like, as you spend time, as you get to know each other, as you develop that connection that, and this actually happened with a few women actually in my life. Yeah, because it happened when I was in high school too with one girl. I remember she was super into me, but I was just never into her. And then just switched one day. We, you know, just I was just like, wow, like you're gorgeous. And it's just it's just interesting how I just never saw it before. And you know, for her to see him, and then you know when she actually like kind of looks into his eyes and she sees who he really is, he turns into a man again, or maybe not again. Maybe it was for the first time. And um. And it's just interesting. Like, that's what I get. It's like sometimes the looks fade. It's like they become not important. You can take someone who you're not attracted to and then that you can fall head over heels in love with them just, you know, through connection. So I find that very interesting. I don't know, I don't know if that's what the song is about, but that's kind of what I got from it. 
Um, but anyway, what are your top three favorite Meatloaf songs? Because this is my favorite power ballad of all time right now. Definitely. I just, I love this one. Incredible. Um, just everything, just the, the, the tone changes, or, or more like the the rhythm changes, the song changes. I guess in some sense, the tone changes. I just felt the song evolved beautifully. But yeah, what are your top three favorite meatloaf songs? Let me know down below. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely give it a like. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to really help out with the YouTube algorithm, just leave like a silly comment or just be like hi or like K or F like or whatever. You know, it just helps the YouTube algorithm. So up to you. And that's it. So I'll see all of you guys again tomorrow. I love you. Peace.